my gosh, look what it is, a Sephora haul. So I went to Sephora today. I was just in the mood to buy a bunch of new makeup. I usually buy makeup like once a year. This was my time, so I kind of went crazy. It was the VIB sale, so I got 20% off, and then my birthday is tomorrow, so I got my birthday gift. So let's get to it and unbox what's in here. They gave me this bag. I guess this is for my birthday. I don't know that I'll use that. Okay, so I've been needing a new primer. I've heard a lot of good things about this Too Faced Hangover. So this is a primer that is just going to awaken your face and make it good for foundation. And it doesn't have silicone. So what I've found with these primers is that when they do have the silicone, it just feels weird when I put it on. So I like that this one is more like a lotion-like primer. So I'm excited to try that. I have been wanting one of these fan brushes. So these are really for highlighting. So you'll kind of dip it in the highlighter and just fan it on your cheeks. And it gives a really nice light highlight instead of using like a huge brush and just kind of pounding it in. You want to more so just kind of dust it over your cheeks. So that is for the highlighter. I've been wanting to try these invisible bobbies for uh, like a hair tie because the one I use, I feel like it's kind of breaking my hair off where I have it where I have it on my hair. So I'm excited to try these. I've heard really good things about them. This is a concealer. I actually thought that Sephora had Tarte Shape Tape and they don't. Like my mind is blown, but apparently it's an Ulta exclusive. So I went in there looking for the shape tape and they were like, we don't carry it. I think a couple of you all even said on my Instagram, they don't have it at Sephora. So I just went around and just tried all these concealers and I wanted to find one that like didn't really leave a residue and this Too Faced Born This Way was the one that I liked the most. So it's oil free. I'll let you know it's a radiant concealer. I'll let you know how it is. All right, I got these Peace Out Acne Dots. I've tried the ones from another brand, but these were by the checkout and you just put them on zits and it has salicylic acid in it and I think it just like shrinks them. I don't know what the brand is. It just says Peace Out Acne. So I'll let you know if they really work or not because I definitely have a bunch of zits on my face right now. Um, so this was the birthday gift this year. It is a Tarte blush and lip paint. I like Tarte blushes, so I was excited to get that. It's free, what can I say? Um, I got this Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. So that's the blackest color that it comes in. This is one of my favorite liquid eyeliner pens. It gives a really nice cat eye. The only thing about this and the Stila one is that they kind of dry out fast, but I mean, it's fine. Like I'll, I'll use it and then just buy another one. So I got this Hourglass Immaculate powder foundation. So it's a foundation that kind of turns to a powder matte consistency. I went around, like I said, with the concealer and just tried like all these foundations on the back of my hand. And this is just the one that I liked the best. I don't really know anything about it. I don't know if it's like popular or what not, but I just, you know, I wanted to try it and I like it. All right. So I have been wanting to try this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna stuff. Like it was so hyped up and I actually went when it first came out and the foundation itself, I didn't really like because it was very dry like when you put it on your hand it kind of like dried up i don't know i didn't really like it but i heard really good things about this invisible blotting powder so this is like a powder you would put on after foundation just to kind of like set everything and i've heard really good things about it so i'll try it and let you know this was a 250 point little gift it says wake up to makeup i figured i could use it as a little jewelry holder it's really cute it has polka dots so if you have beauty points you need to use. This was the 251 right now. I got another beauty blender. I use these for my under eye concealer and then sometimes I'll turn them upside down and then use the bottom to put on foundation. So I love these. They're expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive. They're $20, which to me seems like a lot for a piece of like little material like this, but they're really good. They work if you put water on them and kind of use them to put your foundation on. So this I was excited about. This is the Chrissy Teigen Becca palette. It's actually a bronzer, blush, and highlighting combo in one. I went back and forth with a couple of highlighting powders that I was going to get. 
And I, this one just made the most sense for the money. It was $42 and it has all those things. And some of the other highlighting powders I was looking at were like $40 and you got one highlighter. So this is very pretty, I like it. And then it has the highlighter, the bronzer, the blush, and then just another highlighter. And it's Chrissy Teigen, so I think she's funny, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this is like popular right now. You know, some of the collabs that they do, um, like the Jaclyn, whatever, Jaclyn Hill collaboration that uh, they did for that highlighter was like super popular. I don't know if this one was as popular. I didn't hear about it, but I just liked it when I went there today. Uh, the last couple of things here. This is just the Naked 2 Basics palette. This was by the checkout. It's one of those little like trial ones, but it actually comes with a lot of product. And these are really the best colors from the Naked palette, in my opinion. I don't really get into like the shimmery eyeshadows. So for everyday wear, this was like the best that I could find. And I'll show you what colors came in it. I think it's just the, I can't remember the names. Shrimp. Skimp, shrimp, something, stark, frisk, cover, primal, and undone. So you can see they're like all the gray colors, and then they kind of go to like the beige, but they're just very basic for every day. This lip balm is Buxom Power Plump. You all know I love big lips, so this is supposed to be like a lip balm that plumps your lips up. And then the final thing is this Becca under eye brightening corrector so this is just to wear under concealer to kind of wake up your eyes and make them look refreshed and take away the dark circles under your eyes so i'm going to give it a try i got a lot of new stuff that i haven't tried before so i'm excited and i'll be sure to give you all updates and let you know if i like it or not but i'm excited to do my makeup tomorrow i usually don't wear a lot of makeup i'm pretty minimal with my makeup so i'm gonna give all this a try and i'll report back so i hope you all enjoyed i always love watching sephora hauls that people do or any sort of hauls shopping hauls so hopefully you all like this all right talk to you later bye